Hey, what's up? My name is Mark. Um, I've just written a book called, oh Jesus, where is it? Here we go. <laughs> Not a great start. I'm the author of Is It Really So? Jehovah's Witnesses Cross-Examined. And uh, it's available very shortly. It's available on uh, Kindle on April 1st and on paperback in a matter of days. Um, I'm hoping it's available for March 27th for the very special memorial occasion. Um, what I'd like to do in this video is just give you a taster of what's in there, what you might expect, uh, the kind of content that uh, I've put in here. And if this is something that interests you, then you're sure to like the book. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to describe an historical person and I want you to imagine who that might be. Okay, and then in the second part, I'm going to um, give some quotations from this historical person and then we can compare it to another. Okay, so this person is humble and unpretentious. He's known for being uh, impartial. He goes to the temple every day uh, to teach. He'll speak to anyone who'll listen to him. And he even mentions that he interacts with the money changers. Um, he, uh, he's hated by other people because he has this uncanny ability to uncover their hypocrisy and their, their, their lack of true understanding. Um, He's, he's, he scrupulously observes the law, and yet despite that fact, he's falsely arrested, convicted, and sentenced to die. And he's also given the opportunity to escape his fate, but he refuses. He decides that he will, he will accept that judgment. He doesn't write anything himself, but after he dies, his disciples after him do. Who do you think that person is? Now, if you're thinking this is Jesus, then yes, you're correct. It is. <laughs> okay. No prizes there. It's Jesus. It's also Socrates. And Socrates was a 5th century BCE Greek philosopher. And all those characteristics that we described apply to Jesus. They also apply to Socrates. Now... When I first came across this, uh, I was stunned, and I, not not initially because Plato's works are close to two thousand pages, and you're not going to find these things page after page after page. But you notice one thing, and you think, "God, that's really interesting. That's very like Jesus." And then, two hundred pages later, you encounter something else that's just very very similar. And then a hundred pages later, you encounter something that's almost identical and you think hold on this is just i i have to start noting this noting this down and recording it and that's what i eventually did um and that's what i recorded here in my book um so what i'm gonna do now well sorry no there's a couple of other things excuse me there's a couple of other comparisons I want to mention here. One is um, Jesus, when he was um, on the cross or the torture stake, or whatever you want to call it, um, the one of the persons involved in the execution noticed that he was special, that he was innocent, and that he shouldn't have been executed. That There's also a character like that in the Socrates story. In Jesus' story, it's the Roman um, officer. In... Socrates story it's the jailer that brings him his poison um, Jesus predicted that he would uh, die and that in three days later he would be resurrected Socrates on the other hand predicted that in three days time he would die um, so th there were two other things that really struck me that uh, that I just thought couldn't be a coincidence. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through seven different sayings. And 
those very familiar with the Bible may may get who is who in this circumstance, but it's an interesting game to play. So the seven different seven different settings. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Seven different sets. Here's the first one. The word which I speak is not mine. Is that Jesus or is it Socrates? Well, that was Socrates. But Jesus also said almost identical phrase. He said, what I teach is not mine. Um, the second one. No one is good. Nobody is good except one. God. That, is that Jesus or Socrates? It's Socrates. No, it's Jesus. <laughs> Even I got it wrong just now. The second one, or sorry, Jesus said, um, oh, sorry, no, that was Jesus. Nobody is good except one God. Jesus said that. And Socrates said, the truth is, O men of Athens, that God only is wise. Uh, the third one, God who cannot lie well that's not jesus but it is in titus 1 verse 2 and socrates said he is a god and cannot lie number four we must obey god as ruler rather than men now again if you're very familiar with the bible you're probably thinking well jesus didn't say that paul or not paul peter said that in the book of acts that's correct we must obey god as ruler rather than men listen to what socrates said men of athens i shall obey god rather than you number five out of your own mouth i judge you that's jesus Socrates said, you are convicted not by me, but out of your own mouth. Number six, happy are the peaceable. That's Jesus. Socrates said, the men and women who are gentle and good are also happy. And finally seven, just as his executioners arrived, Jesus said, the hour has come that's from the book of mark socrates moments before he was to take his poison and die said the hour of departure has arrived so there are just seven things that um there's more there's more in the book um but these are just seven that i just decided to take from the book and um, in the book you'll find everything is thoroughly referenced so Every time I say something and you're thinking, well, where did he get that from? Um, where, where can I find that information for myself? You'll find that at the bottom of the book, there's references. So you can find all that information yourself. You don't have to trust that I'm just, you know, completely truthful. Um, you can find this information for yourself. So that's the kind of thing that's in the book. This is... Uh, this information is based on pages 69 to 75 of the book so um, lots more information like that in the book it's not all about classical literature and the bible there's chapters on the hebrew bible there's chapters on prophecy on the last days on the uh, psychology and sociology of the movement um, and on the, the the gospels and so on so there's there's lots of information in there that i think that you might like um you can get a preview of a few pages on amazon you can also go to is it really so.com this web page will not be available uh, for another few days um, but on there i give some excerpts of the book um, i give a list of the tables and uh, just some more general information about the book so if that struck you as interesting and you'd like to know more then the book is available on Amazon very shortly and um, I'm planning on posting a video um, roughly once a week um, just depending on how things go um, it won't all be based on the book but um, for the next I think for the next few weeks um, I will be taking it from the book just uh, just to get the, the message out there okay so thanks for watching and um, take care I'll see you in the next video